blessed and most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, I beg, and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And oh, Lord, may they be your words, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for making me a watchman and giving me dreams and visions of the last days. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I am your humble servant, Lord. I am just the dust of the earth, but I am your dirt, Lord. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. This is my shofar. This one is mine. But one day, one day, there will be a last trump of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we which are left alive, we will be called up to meet Jesus in the air forevermore. A lot of people, a lot of people are saying this Feast of Trumpets will be the rapture. Now, I know, I know, God never likes to be put in a box. God always likes to be amazing, surprising. He likes to put people in awe because he is God. But, also, if God has an appointment with us, he will keep his appointment. The Feast of Trumpets is also called the feast that no one knows the day or the hour. Because the Feast of Trumpets can only start with the very first sliver of the new moon when it's sighted. Also, over this two-day event, there are 100 blasts of the shofar, with the last blast being on the uh, being the loudest and the longest blast of all. And this will be at sundown in Jerusalem on Sunday, the 17th of September. And this last blast of the shofar is also called the last trumpet. And uh, 12 noon Central Standard Time will be 8 p.m. in Jerusalem on the 17th. Remember, the Jewish day starts at sundown and ends at sundown the following day. So now many people are saying terrible things will happen starting in mid-September. Many uh, YouTubers, investors, economists, it seems like everyone, is saying that our uh, economy will start showing signs of uh, uh, collapse, obvious collapse, this mid-September. It seems that everyone is talking about this mid-September for some reason. It seems that that is if everything happens or starts to happen this mid-September. Now, I know even the president wants to institute a nationwide lockdown starting in mid-September. And he wants to introduce mandatory starting mid-September for all Americans. Why is everything, and it seems that everyone, is pointing to mid-September? Maybe the check stopped going out in mid-September and they want to try to lock everyone down to reduce rioting or to reduce the impact if millions of people disappear. Maybe. Now I want to tell you something that just happened to me over the last couple of days. Uh, Wednesday we had uh, we went out to our favorite restaurant and we had a salad and over the radio the PA system I suddenly heard a song that I have not heard in, in over 20 years. It was a song by Lenny Kravitz uh, and I think it's called I Want to Fly Away. Now this is not a Christian song by any stretch of the imagination. But I realize the significance and importance of the message. And not the song, as I knew God can use all for his glory. Now I raised my hands up to heaven in the, in the restaurant. And I had my King James Bible on the table. And I was singing. I was singing out loud. I want to get away. I want to fly away. And believe me, we're ready to fly away. Then... Yesterday, Thursday, we were shopping at Walmart, and I was in my writing cart, and I heard the very same song, the very same song over their PA system. I want to get away, 
I want to fly away. And again, I raised my hands up to heaven and I started singing the song right there in Walmart. Right there in Walmart. I was singing praises to God and thanking him. I was thanking him for this, this subtle little message, a reminder that we're going home soon. I think God was giving me a hint. God gives, God gives hints if we're watching and listening. Remember, there are no coincidences when it comes to God. Now, I have, I have some people that send me this verse and as a proof that the rapture doesn't happen until mid-tribulation or even the, at the end of the tribulation. And I'll read that verse to you, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And I have prayed on this, and I have prayed and prayed and prayed. And finally the Holy Spirit, Spirit revealed it to me that this falling away mentioned in this verse is actually describing the rapture. And then I was pointed to this uh, 1599 Geneva Bible, also 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 3. And this Bible was, was uh, written 51 years before the King James Bible. And uh, it's, it's said that the King James uh, Bible was actually based on this Geneva Bible. And I will read that same verse, but through the Geneva Bible. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a departing first. A departing, flying away. And that, that man of sin be disclosed, even the son of perdition. I think that puts it in, in a whole new light, don't you? We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Get prepared. I, uh, I have a big announcement to make for everybody. And that is now, the prayer line is now open to uh, uh, Canadian residents as well. So the Azusa Street prayer line is open on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, starting at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until 9 or the last caller. And now this is for all United States and Canadian residents. Now this line is not recorded and there are no commercials. So if you, a family member, or a friend need prayer, please call and we will be glad to pray for you. God bless you and God keep you in yours. We keep all of you in our prayers. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this, this ministry, this work, God's work, all we ask is that you obey the Holy Spirit. I do this work from my kitchen table and out of my basement. The Holy Spirit tells me that that's all that I need. Thank you for your love and prayers and support for this last day's ministry. Without faithful people like you, this ministry would be impossible. You have all been a blessing to us, and we thank God for sending you to us. We keep you and yours in our prayers. Come away from the world and the things of the world, and pray, repent, and believe, and read the Word of God found only in the King James Bible. Come away from your TV, your cell phone, internet, social media, games, all worldly things. Get away from everything that's worldly and turn on your Bible and turn on your prayer life. I want to read for you Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. We are now so near, so very near to the end. So now please double your prayer time and then double it again because Jesus is at the door. He's at the very door. We all need to do this. We all need to seriously consider sackcloth, ashes, and fasting, and much prayer. Much, much prayer. If not now, when? What are you waiting for? The rapture? Then it will be too late. We all need to do this, even me. We're going home soon to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore. And we will see you there on that day. With much love and more grace from the world. Amen. And we're all waiting. We're all waiting for that last trump of God to sound. And then we go home. The faithful go home. Lord, I just pray to be pleasing to you, Lord. I just pray to be pleasing to you, Lord. If there's any stone that I have left unturned, I pray the Holy Spirit reveal it to me, Lord. I pray the Holy Spirit reveal it to me, Lord. We're going home. We're going home. We're going home. 
get prepared. We're going home soon. Can you not see the, how this world, how this world is, is just turned upside down? And everything is collapsing right in front of our eyes. Everything is collapsing. And Jesus is coming soon to take us home. Take his faithful home. And there we will be with Jesus forevermore in the clouds. And we will see you there on that day. All praise, all glory, all honor are yours now, forever and ever. Jesus mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen.